These bedrooms belong to twins who are nine years old. One room is all camouflage, airplanes, and military toys. The other, well, see for yourself. A pastel canopy, stuffed animals, white horses. Not all that surprising for boy-girl twins. Except these twins your base code? are Jared and Adam. I have the Marines parking only. When I came for a visit, Jared was eager to show me his G.I. Joe collection. Adam, on the other hand... I hate to interrupt you, but I just noticed you have nail polish on with stars. And diamonds. And diamonds. I have to ask you a question. Did you go to school like that today? Mm -hmm. I just showed him my nails and they like, why did you do that? Adam's behavior is called childhood gender nonconformity, meaning a child whose interests and behaviors are more typical of the opposite sex. Research shows that kids with extreme gender nonconformity usually grow up to be gay. Danielle is Adam and Jared's mom. How early on did you notice this difference? About 18 months, he was really into asking for a Barbie. He wanted a Barbie. At 18 at, months. At 18 months. And what about Jared? What was he asking? Fire trucks. Fire trucks. Not that much has changed. Jared's favorite game now is Battlefield 2 Special Forces. What's your favorite game? It's called Neopets, the Darkest Fairy. If you were going to tell a stranger what you were like, what would you say? I'm a kid who likes G.I. Joes and games and TV. I would say like a girl. You would say, I'm like a girl? That's what you would say? Why do you think that is? If you can spot a child's future sexual orientation before he even knows he has one, doesn't that prove it's genetic? Studies have shown that homosexuality runs in families, so genes must be the answer. But then the researchers tell you identical twins can have different sexual orientations. We found Steve and Greg Lofts in New York. As identical twins, they had the same upbringing, have the same DNA, and yet Greg is gay and Steve is straight. When you meet people and they find out you're gay and you're not, what do they say? Are you Either sure? They... How can that be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. It's a, everyone is curious about that. There were signs even when they were little kids. Their mother told us Steve loved sports and the outdoors, while Greg liked helping out in the kitchen. But it wasn't until high school that Steve became convinced Greg was gay. Did you say anything to him? or? I did, actually. I think the way I worded it was something like, you know, Greg, if you're gay, it's okay. I'll still love you the same. And he gave a very philosophical answer. He said something like, oh, I'm, I love the soul of a person and not the physical being. And in my mind, I was like, yep, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready just yet. Does this prove that it's not genetic? What it proves is it's not completely genetic. They have the same genes. So does that bring us back to the mother and the father? No. But that's environment. That's environment, but that's not the only environment. There's also the environment that happens to us while we're in the womb. And scientists are realizing that environment is much more important than we ever thought it was. Michael Bailey, a psychology professor at Northwestern University, is a leading researcher in the field of sexual orientation. They've grown up in the same house. They've been treated the same way. To me, cases like that really scream out, hey, it's not out there, it's in here. There's no indication that this mother is prone to raise very feminine boys because his twin is not that way. So you don't think it's nurture? I don't think that nurture is a plausible explanation. Psychologists used to believe homosexuality was caused by nurture, namely overbearing mothers and distant fathers. But that theory has been disproved. Today, scientists are looking at genes, environment, brain structure, hormones. There's one area of consensus that homosexuality involves more than just sexual behavior. It's physiological. There are many more questions at this point than answers. But the scientists we spoke to are increasingly convinced that genes, hormones, or both, something is happening to determine sexual orientation before birth. Adam has come up with his own theory. I was supposed to be a girl in my mom's stomach, but um, my mom wished for all boys, so I turned into a boy. Do you wish you were a girl? 
You do? Mm -hmm. Do you think there was anything that you could have done that would have changed Adam? I could have changed Adam on the outside to where he would have showed me the macho boy that I would want as a boy. But that would not change who he is inside, and I think that would have damaged him a lot more. This is an interesting question. Are you both proud of the way you are? Yep. Both of you. And you're so uh -huh. different. Mm-hmm.